Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. We are listening to concepts from statistics which are very relevant in maths as well as physics. Today let us look at discrete random variables. Now there are situations where it's preferred to assign numerical values to the outcome of an experiment. Now suppose an experiment or you can also call it an event is tossing of the coin then we know that there are two outcomes either it will land on tail or it will land on head so in that case we can say that let's have a discrete random variable x and it can take two values namely h or t Similarly, if it denotes the outcome of the experiment or the event of uh, casting a dice, then there are different kind of outcomes possible. There could be values such as 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 because it's a cube basically, right? So it has 6 faces. So there are 6 different numerical values that x can take up now here notice that at any point of time the value that has been assumed by x is going to depend on that outcome of the experiment so this x is called a random variable because it will vary and it will vary randomly like for example when you cast a dice Right now you've thrown it, it's 3, some uh, other time maybe 5 and then third time it can come back to 3. You can't really predict it, right? So it's a very random process. So that's why it's called a random variable. And here in both these examples, for example, in this ex example of casting a dice, you can see that it's a finite discrete variable because it can assume only finite number of integer values although there are different six values but this number six is fixed it's a finite number and then whatever function that is associated with each of each value of a random variable uh, that is called a probability function so the function that associates with each of each value of a random variable its probability of occurrence is basically a probability function and a discrete probability function or distribution that can be depicted graphically by a, a, a histogram so histogram how do you construct a histogram for a particular probability distribution we need to locate the values of the random variable on a number line and then above each such number you have to create a rectangle with width 1 and height which is equal to the probability associated with the value of the random variable. So the rectangle will have highest height if the probability is largest. 